The T-72 is a family of Soviet Russian main battle tanks that entered production in 1969. The T-72 was a development of the T-64, which was troubled by high costs and its reliance on immature developmental technology. About 25,000 T-72 tanks have been built, and refurbishment has enabled many to remain in service for decades. The early T-72 versions are considered as second-generation main battle tanks. It was widely exported and saw service in 40 countries and in numerous conflicts. The T-90 introduced in 1992 is a relatively minor development of the T-72B, though production and development of the T-72 continues today. The T-72 were made in Poland and Czechoslovakia, for Warsaw Pact consumers. These tanks had better and more consistent quality of make but with inferior armor, lacking the resin embedded ceramics layer inside the turret front and glasses armor, citation needed, replaced with all steel. The Polish made T-72G tanks, citation needed, also had thinner armor compared to Soviet Army standard, 410mm for turret, before 1990, Soviet-made T-72 export versions were similarly downgraded for non-Warsaw Pact customers, mostly the Arab countries, citation needed. Many parts and tools are not interchangeable between the Soviet, main models of the T-72, built in the Soviet Union and Russia. Command tanks have added to their designation for Komandersky, Command T-72K is the command version of the basic T-72. Versions with reactive armor have added, for VZ Rivnoy, explosive. The FGM-148 Javelin AAWSM, is an American-made portable anti-tank missile fielded since 1996 to replace the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile in U.S. service. Its fire-and-forget design uses automatic infrared guidance that allows the user to seek cover immediately after launch, as opposed to wire-guided systems, like the Dragon, which require the user to guide the weapon throughout the engagement. The Javelin's heat warhead is capable of defeating modern tanks by hitting them from above, where their armor is thinnest, see top attack, and is also useful against fortifications in a direct attack flight. According to the Ukrainian land forces, Javelins were used to destroy Russian tanks during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The engagement occurred near the town of Luhiv, where a column of 15 Russian T-72 tanks were reportedly destroyed. An image dubbed, Saint Javelin, which shows Mary Magdalene holding a javelin launcher in the style of an Eastern Orthodox Church painting, gained attraction in social media and soon became a symbol of the Ukrainian resistance against the Russian invasion.